Over the past few weeks, there have been no negotiations for an end to the war because Sinwar has refused to negotiate. There's been no path to ending this war because Sinwar has refused to talk about releasing the hostages or, or coming to a ceasefire. We now see an opportunity with him have, being removed from the battlefield, being removed from the leadership of Hamas, and we want to seize that opportunity. Uh, I, I am sure that Hamas and other terrorist groups will try to present Sinwar as some kind of hero for the Palestinian cause, but I think it's important that everyone remember the actual facts, which is that Sinwar was a brutal terrorist that didn't just terrorize the Israeli people, but that ruled Gaza with an iron fist before October 7th, that um, uh, brutalized Palestinians in Gaza, that tortured Palestinians in Gaza, and then unleashed a conflict that has been responsible for the death of more than 40,000 Palestinians. So uh, I would hope that anyone that's considering thinking of him in any favorable light at all will look on the actual consequences of his life and the decisions that he made um, that wreaked such havoc for the Palestinian people.